Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Linux Techie. Today I'm gonna show you how we can use ACL access control list in Linux. So this is the part three video. So those who have not watched the part one and part two, I'll request you to watch part one and part two. In the part one, we have covered basic permissions in Linux. And in the part two, we have covered advanced and special permissions in Linux. So in this part three, I'll be <clears throat> discussing on access control list. So those who have already knowledge of basic permission structure and advanced levels permissions in Linux can continue watching this video part three. So what is ACL? ACL is an access control list which provides an additional more flexible permission mechanism for a file system. It is designed to assist with Unix file permissions. ACL allows you to give permission for any user or group to any disk resources. So for example, we have a following scenario. One, we have a group name test group and with member Mohit. So we have a group test group. Uh, inside the group, we have a one member Mohit and we have a root user and we have another user named Anonymous with no group attached. So let's move to the practical session. So this is my root user session and this is my Mohit user session and this is my anonymous user session so Mohit is belong to the group test group I can show you with test group grab so test group is my group name and Mohit is only member of this group so currently we are in the same directory in all of our sessions so let's move quickly and so let's create a folder folder so we have a folder named folder here so currently it is a directory which having read and execute permission to the owner and read and execute permission to the group and read and execute permission to all other users means group and all other user cannot write into the directory so let's try first by the Mohit user try to switch into the folder directory and we are able to switch into the folder directory because all users having read and execute permission so let's try to create fun file we got permission denied let's try with the anonymous user yes we can uh, switch into the directory but let's create file we got permission denied so let's change the group ownership of this folder to test group so I am changing the group ownership of this folder to test group and we have permission of the group is read and execute only so let's give group to read write execute recursively in the folder section so currently we are having read write execute full permission to the group test group and as I told you 
Mohit is the member of test group so now Mohit user must be able to create file yeah we have successfully created a file with the user Mohit now let's try the same thing with anonymous user we got permission denied because it's still in the other section so <clears throat> so uh, suppose you have uh, many users and which do not belongs to any group so how will you assign the permission ch mode cannot uh, cannot give you the ability to provide uh, this granular level permission so uh, by using ch mode you cannot give any specific user having a specific permission on the specific folder so what do you have so now we have acl in linux which is very advanced level to assign the permission to any specific file or any specific folder so let's try to give anonymous user access to write this folder so we have a command set facl hyphen m to modify the acl and username anonymous and permissions read write and execute over the directory folder and since it is a folder we need to give it recursively so if you see the structure you will not find any extra permission added to the other user but wait as you can see there is a plus sign attached with the folder permission so plus denotes that this folder is having set and ACLs and if you want to get the perm or to, if you want to get the ACL informations of this folder you can get FACL to the folder name here you will see it is a folder which is having on a root as you can see here as well and it is having a group ownership is to test group and the permissions over this folder is user is having read read execute as you can see here as well and as you can see the additional user username anonymous is having read write execute over this folder via ACL and group is having read write execute so let's try to create file again anonymous and yo now anonymous user can create file inside this folder because we have given the permissions by using ACLs in Linux so now let's just do some other things with it so if you want to remove a specific entry these are the entries of ACLs the each and every line so if I want to remove an entry set FACL hyphen X and entry name is Mohit means I want to delete the ACL entry for user Mohit on the specific folder now if you see the ACL of this oh Mohit user uh, was not having any kind of ACL attached so let's try to do this with anonymous and now you will see the user anonymous ACL is removed now again you will try to create a folder you will be able to do this because because
no wait let's do let's move to the folder uh, yeah because the file was already there so now we are having other user as read and execute only and we do not have any ACL for you group sorry user anonymous so now if user anonymous try to create file we'll get permission denied so now let's do some other fun with this by removing now we have removed all the permissions from the group section so any member of this group will not have read write or execute to the folder permission as you can see I'm not even able to ls into the directory so now let's give the special permission by ACL to the group set FACL recursively modify the ACL group means test group and read write and execute to the folder now you can see group test group is having read and execute even yeah as you can see Mohit user is now able to ls into the directory and even create the file so suppose you are having multiple ACLs let's try to add more ACLs so now we are having multiple ACL entries suppose you have uh, hundreds of user and you have uh, attached into the group and assigned ACL here and if your ACL entries becomes larger and, and if you want to remove all the ACL in the one go then you can use hyphen B over the folder and now you will see we do not have any additional ACL attached to this folder so in this today video we have covered how we can give a user uh, permission by using ACL how we can provide a group permissions by using ACL and how we can remove the ACL entry of a specific user how we can remove the complete ACL entries over the folder so thank you for watching this video and those who have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest video alerts thank you guys